Today we are playing with two of the new Odin's Eye palettes that they just released in their Perfect World collection. Uh, I picked up Sea Talk from Lauren May Beauty and I picked up the Flora Story palette from Makeup Just For Fun and we are going to do a full review of these. We're going to do in-depth swatches and a look with each palette. So hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys. If it does, let's go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. These are the two Odin's Eye palettes that I picked up from their new collection, the Perfect World collection. Now, all three of these palettes were in collaboration with a beauty YouTuber, which I thought was amazing. And the beauty YouTubers that they picked were incredible as well. So we had three palettes. I picked up two just because the third palette from Batty Bean, which I'll insert a picture right here. I really like Batty Bean. I think she's an incredible creator. And I think the color stories, like she's had uh, collaborations with Shroud Cosmetics before and her color stories that she picks are really awesome. But this palette in particular, it's just too colorful for me. I really couldn't justify picking it up because I, I just know hands down I won't get any use out of it after the review. So the top one here is the Flora Story palette from Makeup Just For Fun. And then the bottom one is Sea Talk palette from Lauren May Beauty, which is awesome. Like I personally have actually been following Lauren um, on YouTube here for a very, very, very long time. Each of these palettes is 53 Australian dollars. I think it was about 33 to 34 US dollars. This is actually the first time I'm trying Odin's Eye. You guys have been asking me to try Odin's Eye for quite some time and I just hadn't found a palette that I really wanted to bite the bullet on. I did really like the Christmas palettes and I actually just missed the boat on them. So when I saw these get released, especially this Flora one, I'm not going to lie, this Flora one is very much my color story. I instantly knew I was going to pick these up. If you haven't caught one of my eyeshadow palette review videos before, there will be timestamps down below for you in case you only want to see specific parts of the review and the products will be linked down below for you as well. If it's an affiliate link, I don't think these would be, but if it is for some reason, I will disclose it in the description box. Uh, I bought these with my own money and also I am going to do swatches of both of these palettes. How I like to do my swatches is I do a full arm swatch and then I also do individual shadow swatches on the back of my hand so that you can see each shade blended out. And then we're going to do a look with each one of these palettes. As I mentioned, timestamps below for you. Let's get into swatching. I'm going to swatch the Flora Story first because I shan't lie, the color story with the greens. If you know me, you know I love green and I'm very, very excited. So let's get into this one first. Look at this color story. Is that not incredible? And while I own quite a number of green eyeshadows because it is my one of my favorite colors, these are unique to my collection. I mean, I haven't swatched them yet, granted. I did kind of do a teeny tiny little swatch of this one because I couldn't help myself, but that's about it. But I can just tell by looking at these that they're slightly unique to my collection. We're gonna go straight into doing the arm swatch and I am just going to do a, a speed through of the back of the hand swatches, unless I feel I like really need to comment on something because otherwise this video is gonna be extremely long, which it probably is anyway. So let's get into swatching. Before we go ahead and get into looks, we're going to go ahead and swatch the Sea Talk palette. She's beautiful. Like Lauren did such an incredible job, I personally think, on this eyeshadow palette because when you watch Lauren, she is such a mixture of like everyday wearable makeup plus really colorful makeup. Uh, and I just think she 
I feel like she just nailed it with this color story. Let's go ahead and swatch this palette out. Now let's go ahead and create looks. I'm gonna do Flora first and then Sea Talk. I'm having a very hard time <laughs> choosing what colors to use because I wanna use them all. I have primed my lids, my lids, sorry, already using my NARS Smudge Proof Oli Primer. So we're ready to get into it. We're ready to get into it. First up, we know I have to take Shroom. We know. I'm gonna take shrimp. Actually, you know, you know what? We're gonna do this in reverse because I had been doing this. I did this with my Lisa Eldridge look the other day and I really liked how easy it was. So we're actually gonna do this in reverse. I am gonna take my intensify stick. I know in reviews you guys liked me like me to do one eye with intensify and one eye without, but I can tell you if you're gonna pick up one of these palettes, these shades are so glittery. I recommend some kind of a glitter glue. I really do, otherwise, it is going to get everywhere. It just is. I mean, look, have I tried it yet? No, but that's generally how glitter is going to be. And going by the swatches and the fact that I still have glitter all over my hands and arms from the swatches, it's going to be what it's going to be. So I'm just tapping the intensify stick over my lids. I'm not really putting it too far up in the crease because I don't want it up there. I just want it on the lid where I'm going to put the metallics. We're going to take this refer number two and... I'm going to dip into this green first. This is Lush. I do feel like I need to zoom in just a little bit more, so two seconds. We're zoomed in offensively close in my personal opinion, but I do want you guys to really be able to see what we're doing, so I'll take the hit. <laughs> this is 4K, no filters, all that kind of stuff. All right, refer two. Um, I'm going to start by tapping this here, actually, and I'm not going to go up. See, like you can already see, right? I've got glitter here. Glitter glue, you guys. Just gonna tap that. I'm actually gonna keep that low to the lash line here. I mean, that color is beautiful, you guys. I'm just gonna flip the same brush over and I'm gonna go into Magnolia now, which is the purple. I'm just gonna try and use as many shades as I can just so that we can get a feel for them. So I'm gonna tap this above that green and tap it up a little bit further into the crease. And this purple is really pretty too. Now I'm picking up a Refa 28 and I'll go into Misty, which is this one right here. Misty looks lovely. I think Misty is my favorite shade in this palette just from the swatches. It is a beautiful green. And I'll tap that in here. Yeah, Misty is amazing. I love it. Because these are so glittery, just press them onto the lids. Don't try not to swipe too much because you'll get less fallout if you just press. I'm interested, this is my first Odin's Eye palette, so I'm really interested to hear your guys' opinions below if you've got a lot of their palettes and if you think this formula is different to the normal ones. Let me know if you're like a Odin's Eye connoisseur, if, if that's the word, what you think. So far this is looking absolutely incredible. Um, they remind me of a little bit of Pat McGrath Love special shades, I've got to be honest. Taking the Refa 28 again, I've just cleaned off that green. I have like a little Sigma switch here as well, so I can clean the excess shadow off. We're going to go into Best 
buds right here. This formula is more like a straight metallic than it is like a glitter, like the other ones are quite glittery. And I'm just gonna pop that in here. And that's also very pretty. Oh wow, I really like that. That's actually really lovely. It's like a neon. Actually, this green reminds me of the green metallic shade in the Club Nebula palette from Kaleidos. Not exactly the same, but it just reminds me of the same kind of tone. I know that's very specific, but that's instantly what came to mind. That's looking really pretty and they are performing stunning. What beautiful colors, truly. That's cool. One of those kinds of formulas that if you are in low lighting, like at night, it will look mesmerizing. Like people will be mesmerized by your makeup. I'm gonna pick up this refer number one now and we are gonna go in, actually no, sorry, sorry. I'm long winging. I'm actually gonna pick up this Delium Tools 795. 765, sorry, it's an angled brush. And I'm gonna dip a little bit into this purple matte, which is Orchid. I'm just gonna start really small. I'm just gonna tap really lightly because I don't want it to be too intense and I don't wanna take it out too far. I'm just gonna wiggle it. See how I'm wiggling into that outer corner there? I mean, look, I'm not a professional makeup artist. You do you. I'm just gonna show you how I get this. <laughs> That's definitely very pigmented in a really nice way. I like that. Honestly, you could leave this here. You honestly could just not do any other mattes, nothing. And I feel like that looks pretty amazing. I really do. Up to you. I'm gonna go into a refer number one and just go into a small amount of shroom here. I'm just gonna lightly. If you do do your eye makeup this way, I mean, look, again, as I mentioned, not a professional, you do you. But I do suggest you just need to go in with a light touch and like just slowly wiggle. I'm gonna leave that shroom shade there. I really like it. I think it's very pretty. It was really easy to blend out. I mean, granted, doing your eyes this way, I really don't have to try that hard to blend it out, but it, it worked lovely. I'm just taking the smallest amount now of shade, sa shades, sage right here on a row for 14, just a really, really small amount. I just wanna deepen this crease just ever so softly. Just want to create like a little bit more of almost like a shadow, just more so for my hooded eyes to be fair. Okay, so we're going to leave the eye look here. I'm actually going to go off camera and do my base makeup. I know normally I do a speed through, but I don't want this video to be crazy, crazy long. So I'm going to go do my base makeup off camera and then we'll come back, finish up lower lash line and I'll do lips with you, show you that look and then we'll come back and we'll do Laura Maze. So let's do it. My base makeup is on. I've put the fig, I think this is called fig, sorry. Uh, yeah, Fig Satin Kajal Liner in my top waterline. This is from Victoria Beckham. All of this will be linked down below. Uh, and now we are going to put Shroom on my lower lash line just with a Sephora Precision Shadow Brush. I'm going to use this little cutesy mirror that I got to apply it. And then with the same brush, I'm just going to pick up Orchid, which is that deep purple. For lower waterline, I've got these two Kaleidos liners. I've got Limelight and Seven Seas. Let's go with Limelight on the outer portion of my eyes to begin with. And then let's be super extra. <laughs> and put seven C's on the inner corner. I think that looks kind of cool. It like ties it all in together. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm just gonna put my Lash Clash on. I really like the way these eyes turned out, you guys. I think they are so pretty. What do you guys think? We're obviously gonna go into Dawn right here for the inner corner. Perfect in a corner shade, actually. Oh yeah, that's perfect. What a delightful shade. That is really a pretty, pretty shade. That all over the lid as well will look lovely. Okay, lips, what will we do? I'm not gonna get too crazy with lips. I'm gonna take Lisa Eldridge Sorcery and I'm just gonna lightly tap it on. I don't want it too pigmented. And then I'm also just gonna take some of the Victoria Beckham Bikini Gloss. 
Let's zoom you guys back so you can see the finished look. Finished look using the Flora Story palette. What do you guys think? I really, 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 really like it. I really do. I'm bummed because I have to get, like, I have to get my filming done today. Otherwise, I won't have time this week with work. So I have to wash this off now and I'll film my Lauren look. And I'm devastated because I'm not going to lie. I don't want to wash this off. I feel like it looks impeccable. Uh, I love the sparkle. Like I said, in low lighting, this will be truly mesmerizing but if you do not like a little bit of glitter fallout it's not a lot and once i've done like if you do your eyes first it honestly won't bother you but if you don't like any glitter fallout it's not the formula for you but i love it and if you like pat mcgrath lab special shades you will love this palette and you will love this formula so i'm into it let's go ahead now and do a look with the sea talk palette sea talk palette oh I'm, I'm excited to dig into this palette I promise I will try my apps. Oh, this is intensifies. We're going to do the same like process in this order, metallic first and then matte. I promise I will try my hardest to get a few shorts up of looks with these palettes. I do not have time right now to do a three looks one palette with both of these. I'm sorry, but I will try really hard to get some shorts and some reels up. I'm intrigued because as mentioned, these ones feel so much more creamy and putty like. So I'm intrigued to see how they go. I really want to try this one, Ocean Jewel. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take Ocean Jewel on a Delium Tools 773. I'm just pressing again, just because this formula. I'm not going to take this as far out as I did with the Flora one, because I really want to use that navy matte as well. Ooh, that is... A very very nice color when I was swatching this shade I was just mesmerized by it I kept staring at it <laughs> I'm just gonna take this BK Beauty a505 and I wasn't going to but I will go into a little bit of this one just because I really want to see this is C spray yeah just I just want to see what it's like oh yeah that's really pretty that is a very beautiful shade. If this dark one is too much for you all over the lid, you could totally just go in with this little light one, sea spray. Oh, it's really pretty. Also, I meant to say in my swatches, when I swatched this pink one, it reminded me of a pink version of the special purple shades in Hutopian Dream from Pat McGrath Labs. You know, the very, very light purple, not the more electric purple, but the very lavender light pastel purple in Utopian Dream, the special shades. That's exactly what that shade reminded me of, just a pink version of it. These are insanely beautiful. I love this color. This is going to be some, one of the most unique blues I've ever seen in an eyeshadow. Wow. I'm just going to pick up this refer number 13 and now we're going to go into Night Swim, which is the navy blue matte. I'm very excited to try. I'm just gonna tap this. I'm pretty much doing the exact same steps as the first look, I'm not gonna lie. It suits my eye shape, so why change it? <laughs> and then I'm just gonna wiggle the brush a little bit in this outer corner just to smoke it out a little bit. Oh, stop. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, you guys are right. Odin's eyeshadows are... Wow. They're wow. This shadow. Dolphin Tail. This reminds me of a matte version of Lisa's French Grey. Just taking... Oh, sorry. This is a BK A504. I'm just gonna put a whisper of this through the crease here. I like doing my shadow this direction, you guys, because it seems to like pair it down just a touch. I seem to keep moving the lines a little bit and not get carried away. It's nice to change up routines sometimes, right? I'm gonna go off camera again and do my base makeup and then we'll come back, do lower lash line and lips and see the finished look and then wrap up my final thoughts. So let's do it. I'm just gonna take the dolphin tail color with a Sephora precision shadow brush for the lower lash line. And actually I did put the Victoria Beckham Navy Noir um, satin cajole on my lower and top water lines as well. So we're gonna go in with this, what is it called? Dolphin tail. And then with that same brush, I'm gonna go into the navy and just tap. 
so that it brings in that navy color. It's not like too overpowering. I'm gonna take this BK210 and go into the yellow, which was electric kelp. I'll just start small because I'm not quite sure. I don't know why, but blue and yellow like this reminds me of bananas and pajamas. Does anyone did you guys have bananas and pajamas or was that just an Australian thing? I didn't I don't actually know. It's kind of cool though, that pop of yellow. Not mad at it. Okay, lips. Ooh, I'm gonna take the my dream and I'm not even gonna put a lip liner on. I'm again, I'm just gonna tap it. I just don't like a bold lip with bold eyes on me personally. I just think it's too much. I'm going to zoom out and see what this looks like. I feel like I need a, might need a touch more of blush. So I'll zoom out and we'll see if this is the finished look. So two seconds. Okay, this is the finished look. I changed my top because I felt like that was throwing me off. And I did put a little bit more blush on. I put the Gucci blush on in Tender Apricot. So I really like the way that this look turned out. I love it. I don't know. I feel very chic. Um, so these palettes, I love them. I love them. I really, really do. I think these are fun. These are just fun. They're going to inspire you. If you've got your eyes on them and you think you'll wear the colors, I just think they'll inspire you to get outside your comfort zone. I think the Sea Talk, is that what it's called? Yeah, Sea Talk from Laura May. I'm just impressed. I'm just so impressed with this color story, truly. I feel like it's wearable, but also will take you outside your comfort zone. Potentially, maybe you're just a colorful person in general. Uh, and same with Flora Pop. I think this is beautiful. This is a lovely, just natural, soft, everyday kind of palette. It really is. I, I mean, we know I love a green. I think these are beautiful. I think the shadows performed lovely. They looked stunning stunning on the lids the only con i have and it's not a con for me because i don't care but i know a lot of you out there do not like glitter fallout so if you don't like glitter fallout don't pick these up i will say i have not got any glitter on my fall um <laughs> i have not got any glitter on my fallout i have not got glit any glitter on my face after doing my base makeup like after the look is complete so if you do your eyes first and then your base makeup you should be fine these remind me kind of a pat special shades they really do i'm so into these i'm so into these i'm gonna wrap it up here um i've asked you guys i think a few times i want to know your thoughts did you pick these up i want to know if you think like what you think between the two and i want to know if this is the just consistent odin odin's eye formula or is it new for these palettes um but yeah let me know your thoughts. And if you're watching to this point, you know you're a legend. I appreciate you so, so much. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.